What's up, Ling guys? Welcome back to my channel and hi. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Keisha and for today's video, I have a backpack. And you guessed it, I'm doing a what's in my backpack. And I'm just gonna show you a little tour of this beautiful backpack in front of me. So this backpack's brand is Converse and it's in this navy blue and burgundy color. It's water resistant and the main reason why I bought this is because it has a lot of compartments. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with this pocket in the front. Here we have some yarn. We use this in a science activity in school. I just didn't bother to put it out. And then I have a permanent marker whenever I need to mark my names. Mark my name on things. I have a glue stick because I just prefer this and the liquid glue is messy. Then an eraser because we need erasers and I don't like getting my eraser dirty. That's why I bought this one in the case. Another permanent marker just in case the other one runs out. We have these stick on notes whenever I like to bookmark my, um, whenever I read or whenever we have homeworks, I bookmark the notes. whiteboard marker because whenever I write my answers on the board, we need to bring our own whiteboard marker. I have this. Next is an EOS lip balm that smells like cucumber. Also good. And I just use this to moisturize my chocolate. After that, I have my purple tiny stapler because we usually have a lot of documents to print for school and I need to staple them. And last is tape. And the reason why I have this is pretty basic. I need to, you know, tape tape things. And that is it for the front top. Next I'm going to be opening this tiny compartment in front. So in here, I have my coin purse and there's no coins in it at the moment. But I just have this in this small compartment because it's easy to get. Here we have a bracelet from my Dita. And then I just have these, um, what do you call this? Wire holders, and it just has Sully as the design. So this is just my charger, and then a necklace. After that, we have, I have my house keys, in case I go home alone. Then I just have my locker keys, our lockers need to be locked in school. Lastly, I have a coin and another bracelet. That's it for the small one, small compartment. In the second biggest compartment, basically, I have a lot of random stuff. I have here my koi brush pens that. I just love to bring to school and I bought this, brought this because it was like smaller than my usual packages of brush pens and there's already a lot of colors. So, so I bought, that's why I brought this. And then we have a box of pencils because usually we draw in school or whenever I'm bored I draw in my sketchbook and I just have a box of pencils because I always lose my pencils. And then we have a compass. We don't really use this at the moment, but I just bring it in case. Next, we have um, Pigma plastic nib. Uh, these are microns, and these are just awesome, and I like to bring this. I don't really use it like a lot for school. 
I just use it for whenever I'm bored and I want to play with something. Then my Unipin. I use this whenever I draw in school or outline any projects. This donut that has a bunch of uh, school supplies like paper clips and I'm not sure what to call these kind of clips. So we have a small version of those. I'm not sure what to call them, but and then we have the bigger version. And then I just have big paper clips and small paper clips. So I got this in Mindy saw and I just thought it was really cute and also very handy to bring around. flashcards. I use a lot of this in school, mostly for um, presentations or whenever I just like to make questions for myself. I have those, so I have the 4x6 index cards which are lined and then I have the blank flashcards which I use, blank index cards which I use in making uh, quiz questions and then I just have these Three by five index cards also lined for our recitation part. Then I have scissors. So it's pretty basic why I need scissors in school. Usually just for mape whenever we have project or project where we need to cut paper. Here I just have my 0.38 Muji black ball pen. I just keep it in here because it's easier to get rather than going into the main pocket and getting my pencil case and opening it. So I just put it in the slot in the second compartment. Here we have my protractor which we use in science time and this is a really old protractor. I bought this I think when I was grade 5, 6 and I just still have it. We only use it now. Then a scientific calculator. We don't really use this but I just have it in my bag, you know, in case we ever do need it. And in this tiny piece of like paper, I have a bunch of my pictures, two by two and one by one pictures. Sometimes when we um, give documents to the school, we need to put our pictures. That's why I already have them ready. And I call it pencils because in MAPE sometimes we color stuff or whenever I'm just bored I just play with the things in my bag that's why I have this. And I prefer this over crayons because crayons get messy sometimes. So and these last two things are just random, so I just have this dotted um, notebook. No, I don't really use this for school. I just you know, write random things in here as you can see and you know, this is just like my uh, tester notebook last in the pocket is this Muji um, like uh, what's called it? Uh, grid I think I'm not sure but there's a bunch of squares in the pink and I don't have a use for this yet. I just bring this because in case I ever do need it. Just like my other stuff in this bag. I don't really need them, but I just bring them just in case. That is it for the second biggest compartment. And now on to the main biggest compartment of my bag. Chin! I have a lot of stuff. First is this tiny black notebook that I just put my to-do list in so this was just a gift and in this back black notebook there are a bunch of smaller notebooks which are lined black and all like this grid one so I just bring this around everywhere because it's tiny and I can write a lot of stuff in next we have a bunch of notebooks so this is my activity notebook in math I just didn't put it in my locker and I just have my old MAPE notebook when I was grade 
seven because some of the topics we're learning now we learned before. Then I have my pencil case here. So it's just a plain Weaver Bears pencil case. So I bought this pencil case in the Visoria and it was only 100 pesos. And I just have a bunch of random pens that I don't really use all the time, but it's there. Next, we have my wallet. So I bought this in Miniso. And it was just really cute and I love uh, Adventure Time. That's why I got it. And the shake design. Next, we have my notebook. I have a lot, as you can see. We have eight subjects but i have nine notebooks one is for memo so i just have a bunch of subject notebooks and in the front i made the, their own labels as you can see so i did it cool. i did them myself after that we have my science book so this is just new i haven't wrapped it in plastic cover yet and I have it placed it in my locker because I'm too late after that I have my um, world map because recently we just had an activity where we had to memorize countries and continents and it was very stressful here we have some graphing paper for science time. I don't know how to explain how I use it, but yes, I just use it in science time. Then we have this mesh um, like case of sorts. And I also bought this from Aniso. It says, remember this document, it's in gray. Here I just put any exams that are given to us so I don't lose them and I just have my name tag here that we were supposed to use for science and a bunch of random things yes. then my clipboard that I've been using uh, I think for a year now and it's just really helpful to keep all the papers in your bag neat and tidy in one place so I put any homeworks given to us here or if we have any seed works and we were done checking it, I put it in here so I don't keep them and whenever we have papers, period. So I just have a bunch of papers for my ESP. I bought this in Manila for I think 100 pesos. Then some yellow pads, I haven't opened this yet because I'm not using it at the moment but I bought this for whenever we do math and this is just like my scratch paper or when we have an essay usually in English and Filipino lastly in this big bag of mine I just have this portfolio it's just this uh, basic long blue portfolio that I bought Whenever, you know, they give us homeworks and I don't want to lose them, I also put it here. I either put it here or in my clipboard, either, either of those two words. And in, just in this first um, part of the clipboard, I just have my papers. I have one fourth, one half, crosswise, and length twice, and then I just have the one, one whole intermediate pad. So, it's only in height. And basically, that is it for my what's in my backpack. And as you can see, my backpack is now flat because there's not a lot of stuff in here. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video and subscribe to be part of this small but um, becoming to grow big channel. And also comment down below what else you want to see from me or just comment whatever you want to comment. So. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!